Hi what's up everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the top best CPU for gaming you can buy on Amazon. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. With your system's best gaming CPU, the expensive new graphics card you're about to drop a lot of cash on will still stay well fed so you know it's working to its full potential especially as we enter a new age of 4K gaming that is affordable. For any creative work, editing, or streaming you might want to do with your PC, the best CPU is also a worthy investment, meaning you won't need a machine to handle the streaming on your own. I have prepared this video guide for the best CPU for gaming to give you the ins and outs to help you make the right choice. So let's get started. 5. Intel Core i7-1070K as Intel chose to concentrate on the 10-core 1090K and 6-core 10600K, the Core i7-1070K was not the chip that made its way into the early Comet Lake testing, but it is the best gaming chip from the Intel arsenal for our money. For the much more expensive Core i9 processor, you will get a touch of more efficiency, but not as much as you would have found in the game. It trades blows with AMD's new Ryzen 7 5800X, which is another 8-core, 16-thread processor of the 7 nanometer Zen 3 variety, but manages to offer better value for money. It's not as powerful in serious applications, but in terms of pure gaming, there's really not a lot in it. This is basically a $70 cheaper than AMD's similarly capable chip, and that's money that could be better spent elsewhere. In the overclocking stakes, where Intel has more of an advantage is. AMD processors do not have a lot of overhead in them, and on all cores, and without melting through the heat spreader, you can easily drive the 1070K over the 5 GHz mark. The AMD platform does have the edge with PC 4.0 support, though it's worth noting that despite Nvidia building it into the Ampere RTX 30 series cards, it doesn't have a lot of impact in gaming performance just yet. What it will do is allow for the highest performance storage devices with PC 4.0 SSDs. 4. AMD Ryzen 5 3600. This may now be last gen hardware, but for AMD Zen 2 CPUs, with their good performance and reliability, there is still a strong case to be made. When it comes to gaming and other activities, the Ryzen 5 3600 is slightly behind the 3900X, but the focus is on the word slightly for a reason usually a 5% difference or less. Plus, we highly doubt anyone is planning on combining it with an RTX 3080. For a midrange CPU. A midrange GPU like the AMD RX 5700, or even the previous generation RX 590, would be a better option. The 3600 won't hold you back either way. You still get a 6-core-12 thread processor, and outside of games, the 3600 is faster than Intel's 10400F. But then, the 3600 also costs more. It has the other benefits of AMD's Zen 2 architecture, like to Gen 4, and AMD CPUs have also had far fewer issues with side-channel attacks like Meltdown, Spectre, Foreshadow, and NDS, giving you some peace of mind as far as security goes. The Ryzen 5 3600X can also be looked at for $40 more as a minor step up in performance, but thanks to a lower starting point, the vanilla 3600 can overclock a little better, matching its more expensive sibling effectively. Again with Ryzen CPUs, fast memory with tight timings improves performance. 3. Intel Core i5-1060K the Core i5-1060K is a solid chip with a decent price point for gamers looking for the edge of performance, enthusiasts who want to tune their processors without costly supporting components or those who simply prefer Intel chips. The 10600K is not as fast as the Ryzen 5 5600X, but it has built-in graphics and is competitive on a price basis, so it's an alternative of solid value. Especially as we wait for the stock and prices of AMD's Ryzen 5000 to stabilize. Intel's Core i5-10600K comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, a doubling of the thread count compared to the previous Gen Core i5-9600K, but slots in at the same $262 price point for the fully equipped model and $237 for the graphics less KF variant. The increased thread counts, paired with substantially higher boost frequencies across the board, equates to much faster gameplay than the previous Gen Core i5 and generally matches the previous Gen Core i7-9700K. That makes this chip a great deal for gamers who prize high refresh rates, particularly if they plan to move forward to the new AMD or Nvidia graphics cards. The 12 threads of the Core i5-10600K also minimize the difference in heavily threaded workloads between it and competing AMD processors. Even, if you're looking for a chip that comes with a bundled cooler and a lower price point, 
AMD's Ryzen 5 3600X and Ryzen 5 3600 are viable alternatives. To run the Core i5-10600K, it does not come with a bundled cooler, but LGA 1151 coolers work fine, you will have to pick up a new LGA 1200 motherboard, and have a compatible cooling solution. However, in its price bracket, the Core i5-10600K provides decent gaming performance, providing previous Gen Core i7 gaming performance at Core i5 rates. 2. AMD Ryzen 5 3400G Since it comes with an integrated Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics engine that makes playable frame rates in many modern game titles, the Ryzen 5 3400G is a great processor for budget buyers, given that you customize your game to lower fidelity settings. That removes the need in your new system for a standalone graphics card, which is equivalent to more cash for other high-performance additives, such as an SSD. The Ryzen 5 3400G is a newer version of AMD's previous Gen 2400G. AMD's move to the 12 nanometers manufacturing process, along with an optimized Zen Plus design, yields solid performance improvements that include a nice bump to the CPU and GPU clocks. The more mature process paired with unlocked multipliers also facilitates higher overclocking ceilings for the CPU, GPU and memory. That combination, along with a beefier bundled cooler and solder TIM, makes the Ryzen 5 3400G the processor to beat for systems built around integrated graphics for low-resolution budget gaming rigs. You can check out our best cheap CPUs feature if your budget is tight and you're looking to create a system for modest gaming. Without a graphics card, some of those chips can offer passable gaming output, and their prices start at just $55, 40 pounds. 1. AMD Ryzen 9 5950X as long as you are willing to pay the price, high-end desktop processors have long provided the ultimate in performance. The chips often require costly housing, aside from high MSRPs, such as beefy motherboards and the additional expense of completely populating quad-channel memory controllers. Throw in the unavoidable trade-offs, such as decreased productivity and lightly threaded apps and games, and any cost-conscious consumers who might benefit from a HET chip's threaded horsepower simply settle for mainstream offerings. AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X, with 16 cores and 32 threads, expands on its predecessor's mission of bringing HET class performance to mainstream motherboards, lowering the bar for entry. The 5950X carries a $799 price tag, but that's downright affordable compared to competing HET processors that don't offer the same class of performance. For gamers who are only interested in games, we normally don't suggest HET processors. Gamers are best supported by standard processors that are mostly faster in games, with less cores and higher clocks. The Ryzen 9 5950X often falls into the same category. A better choice for gamers is the smaller 5000 series versions from AMD. The Ryzen 9 5950X suits the bill like no other CPU before it, but if you're after a chip and platform that can do serious work seriously quickly, but still be nimble enough to offer high refresh gameplay at the end of the day. So guys this was the video about the best CPU for gaming. All the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.